Bill Fire Rescue Department has been dealing with an ambulance shortage. The city is down about half a dozen units. Yeah, help could be on the way soon, though. Tomorrow, the city council will consider a proposal to buy two new ambulances. Fox News Brendan Kirby is here with more on this. All right, Brendan, there's no danger to the public, right? Yeah, correct, Linus and Shelby. Officials say that they're able to respond to any emergency, but they've had to get creative, including even renting ambulances from a private company. We take it for granted that when there's an emergency, an ambulance crew will be there. City officials say that remains the case, but in order to keep that promise, the Mobile Fire Rescue Department has had to resort to extraordinary measures. It started when the city sent two older ambulances out to have the box part of the units replaced. And since then, we've had a series of actually five or six ambulances go down. Uh, and just in the short term to make up that deficit, we've rented two ambulances. Renting those ambulances from a company called Elite Industries over the last couple of months comes at a cost of $200 a day per ambulance, according to Rob Lasky, Executive Director of Public Safety. The repairs to the broken ambulances have taken longer than expected, Lasky says. Because of the supply chain issues and everybody was been backed up, uh, we're just waiting for parts or waiting for them to get fixed. The city council is set to vote Tuesday on a proposal to spend more than a quarter million dollars to buy two new ambulances. Lasky says if approved, he expects those to arrive within a week and a half. And the city has a contract for three more ambulances expected to arrive in August. That will allow three more units from 2016 to be upgraded. Mobile last year responded to more than 25,500 rescue and emergency medical calls, up slightly from 2022. The city last year also started providing ambulance coverage to West Mobile neighborhoods that voted to join the city. But Lasky says that has nothing to do with the current crunch. We've had no issues. Uh, again, this is a small, this would have happened whether we annex or not because of the, uh, the happenstance of five to six going down at one time. When at full strength, the city has 12 ambulances in service, six in reserve, and two more special events ambulances that can be used in a pinch. I talked to the local firefighters union president. He says that no matter the number of ambulances the city has, paramedics are always going to respond to an emergency. Reporting live in the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.